Welcome back. You're watching more Chainsaw Man, and... Well, things didn't end off amazing. Well, no, they ended off amazingly. They didn't go quite so well during the actual episode. Denji biting off more than he can chew. But an interesting end to the night. Ending up in uh, him and I was home. I think he's looking up for him. So... So after a nice team bonding exercise and a night out... What are we going to see this time? Are we getting a... Another rundown. Although at a different angle, more thorough... Understanding of a... I would say the animation in the sequence is kind of spot on with someone of that kind of inebriation trying to come home. <laughs> I'm not sure why... Okay, that's why. We needed to have such attention to detail put into removing of Denji's sandals. And considering that they're going to so such efforts, such lengths to really embed this scene in. What they're going to counterbalance it with later. What devil is going to show up? Enjoy a bit of coolness from the fridge. The fact that... Ah, he stirs. And this is where... She force... Feeds, but... You know, makes him drink. Point of view when you're completely rat-faced. Some for her, and some for Denji. Got to share. I think he has a few questions himself. If she's... So out of it, doesn't even remember bringing him back. Well, with, with her being the first point of contact with First point of contact with um, not the Yakuza when he came out of that world, sharing a bit of kindness to him. Of course, he'd be falling all over her. The low-level lighting and being backlit like that. Ah, oh, you spilt it. The fact with um
Denji experiencing all of these things, which would have been completely alien to him. But a small... Like, a few months beforehand. And how... How much are we going to see of the, uh, his chainsaw form after taking down the Eternity Devil? Are we now going in place for a little bit of a respite out of it? How long did we have after the Bat Devil? But also... Considering the gun devil is out there, we've got to push something forward in the story because at the minute it's just Denji kind of being dragged along by things that happen. You may need to be a bit more... Ah, okay, that's a bit more forward. Less... Uh... Good idea, questionable, but the fact that he's being treated like a like a child. <laughs> Let's get this top off of you. And what happens when she sees the uh, the cord? Oh, got to start. Uh... Start off slow. Very highly animated belt. Hmm. Oh, there was there was actually something in his pocket. Was this all in his inebriated mind, or is it, uh... Just a little flashback to the, n to the night before. He is, uh... Regretting some life choices. The memory of that is not going to be easily removed. That's where he got the... Mm -hmm. Replacing the flavour with something a little more sweet. Whether good or bad, I yeah, I think he will. I see. Poor Posh. <laughs> With little chainsaw dog being now a part of embodied an embodiment of him does posture itself have still have thoughts and dreams of him of itself while being part of him yes why would he turn down breakfast Yeah, about that. Hmm. 
one way of answering the question, I guess. What a riveting conversation. <laughs> kind of would be a little awkward anyway, but... Would they? She has a, a following, hasn't she? And that is... The question is, isn't it, how long is he going to follow her? He's going to get some help now. Okay, then. The <laughs> slow chew... <laughs> Instant reply. They got a little closer. Who would have thought? Hmm. One way, isn't it? Get them round for... Breakfast. I don't know if she does small house visits. Well, why not have snacks throughout the day? So she got. Journey travelling. And how many meetings one or do they have to get into considering their business they're in? And appeasing the higher ups and the like. Why did front and back just duck down? Danger. Yep, that would do it. Um. <clears throat> Quick, no mercy, no, uh, not much about it, just an execution aboard a train. Well, I don't... I don't know how I feel about this music to going along with... All-around attempts, I see. It's a complete eradication of the the team, the Devil Hunters. There's a lot of firework, firearms in this this city. In, at this time of day. Well, that and he was so inebriated he couldn't move. Is... Is this another one who's going to... Uh, Pull out a handgun. Hmm. He's more of a connoisseur, a gourmet. OK. 
Okay. Yakuza. I wonder if uh, Denji might have... ever came across him. He does look familiar. No hesitation there. Both Aki and Power just go straight in. Well, at least I don't have to worry about getting ramen there again. It's going to take a little time to rebuild. And we know that Denji might be okay, you just feed him a bit of blood. I wonder what it tastes like. A fiend? With m I see, I think he, he was in the opening, wasn't he? But also one of a s similar style to Denji. Except blades in the arms. Instead of, you know, teeth to chainsaw. Are we playing Hollow Knight now? We're attacking with a nail. I don't know if I like the uh, really kind of hyper realistic kind of libs talking there. Oh, I see. Not quite deaf by a, a thousand cuts, but get enough in and. What are some of these visuals? That's cool. <laughs> well, yeah, she was shot. And considering all of the things we saw just now were involving guns, does that mean... The Gundaval himself is partly behind this, or just... Hi. I'm guessing that uh, the next antagonist of just... Being shown off. Nice fashion sense, though. <laughs> hmm. No need to go easy on him. Ah. Just appear behind him. No need to... mess around anymore. Jesus Christ. Considering we, considering we saw executions before now, Denji being shot, you know, Aki, only power's kind of gotten off all right so far. Even if...
even the uh, her contracted ghost devil is like, ah, uh, actually, I'm not sure about this one. Everything. A contract was made just there. I'm guessing you like the fox... Devil, uh, taking a bit of flesh. I don't like the payment for this. He tried not to show his emotions or how much it's hitting him. Okay, I can see where this is going, but I do not want to miss that animation of those hands. Fucking hell. When she was saying she'd give the everything to the ghost devil to trade in in trade for help. Just vanishing. The slow... And then her, 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 her... Looks to be sacrifice of the... Just... Gone. But her sacrifice is there to... Bring some time to get him safe. Do I want to even... Payment was due. I guess I'm not going around for breakfast. Is that... I shouldn't... <clears throat> Be all too surprised as if, if 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 that's how it's going to be. Chainsaw Man brings in characters, gets you slightly attached, gets you laughing at the team meet and greet we had the last episode to now a removal of a lot of them. They'd say that staff turnover was quite high. Of course, to protect her beloved, sacrificing everything. At least she didn't have another partner to add to the list of gravestones. Now we can have uh, someone to mourn her. And now that we've seen a few more faces and kind of what they can do, contract with the snake devil. And we had the Chainsaw Devil in Denji, now we've got the London Devil in that guy. A lot of stabbing going on. I guess our happy-go-lucky playtime with friend section of Chainsaw Man is over. Much like the original estate, as soon as we got introduced to Denji in the very first place, it's like, well, his life is fucked. Selling parts of himself... Doing whatever he can for scraps of change to survive in this world. 
prolonged suffering and struggle is not something new to uh, Chainsaw Man. Just when you thought you'd almost got something, a bit of a, a family, some relatively normal life apart from going out killing devils every now and again. For it all to be ripped away that easily. At least, uh, to ease off part of my unrest and upset of what we, we, we saw having having characters missing, well, parts of them being removed periodically. At least there was really some nice animation in this. There were a lot of arms, a lot of hands. Twirling, twisting, grabbing. How long did all that take? But boy, you can't, can't even enjoy a nice meal. Or a low-priced cheap meal, apparently. Coordinated attacks on all of them. Having people with the, the guns there, you know, hitmen kind of thing. We didn't see what happened to uh, Kobani or the dude. What was his name? Oh, we didn't see what happened to them. Just it cuts away. Just a uh, Denji very clearly taking a bullet to the brain. Quite a good dome shot, but feed him a little blood and he'll be right as rain. Macmo, on the other hand, uh. Unless there's something special going on with her, they really did just kind of like come out, come out of nowhere. I think that's the best kind of like what the hell moment when it is somewhat completely unexpected. Still, with them getting too close to the gun devil, something had to happen. Apparently, this might be a great way of moving it forward. And after losing people that they care about, is there going to be a rampage moment? If only we could re rewind the clock, go back to breakfast. It was such a nice time as well. Really overly animated, much like the the slice of bread, if you remember from episode one. No need for it to be that detailed, or have that much time and emphasis on it. But now. In hindsight, knowing that uh, those calm moments should be enjoyed to the fullest. Yeah, I can see why it's done that way. Whenever there's anything overly detailed and seemingly nice, hold on to that feeling. But I think we need to address just walking around the, uh, the flat in a strappy tank top and whatnot. Not bad. I think I'm just going to be sat here in a bit of contemplative denial. Maybe everything was, will, will be fine, right? After all, Denji will get up and do something because Chainsaw Man. Yeah, nothing's going to be the same again. If you've enjoyed this episode of Chainsaw Man, I think you really need to let me know anything to uh, raise my spirits after that. Consider leaving a like and a comment down below. Maybe subscribe if you want to see more. This might not be the best one to just end on, so... If you want to try and help me feel a little better, consider joining on to my Discord as well. But for now, yeah, so was a bit of rest. Have a hearty breakfast. And I'll see you in the next one. There's still sandals? Come on, Denji. Get different fo footwear. Should I disappear in an instant, never to be seen, hopefully at least some of you would remember me. Of course, thanks to my terrible YouTube content, maybe it's better if you don't.
But anyway, I need to thank Noku, Raywin, Sal, Arthur, Kite, Mystic Square, Shuan, Mats, Gurley, Cardboard, Acne, Danny Swee, Dago, Zenhausen, Tori Jane, Carl, What is a Kebab, Zella, welcome to the blank, and everyone else for coming along with me on this journey, where so far I haven't had to call on the power of ghosts.